How to Bypass FRP on Samsung Devices Part 1. Bypass Google Account of almost all Samsung devices, including Android 11 and 12. Step 1. Open Screen Unlock Tool. Start off by launching Wondershare Doctor Phone on your computer and connect the Samsung devices. Then, progress through Toolbox, Screen Unlock to open the specific toolkit on a new window. Step 2. Access FRP Lock Function. Select Android to continue. You will then have to select Remove Google FRP Lock on the next screen to continue with the operation. Then select Samsung and click the Start button to continue. Note. Unlocking the FRP, Factory Reset Protection, on a Samsung device involves performing a factory reset, resulting in data loss. Remember to back up your data before unlocking the FRP to avoid permanent data erasure. Step 3. Select All Android Versions. One click removal. If you are not aware of the Android OS version of your Samsung or want to use the quickest way to remove Google Lock, select the option of All Android Versions, one click removal, and continue by clicking Start on the same screen. Alternatively, if you know the device has Android 11 or 12, select that option. Step 4. Follow on screen instructions to open emergency call. You will be prompted to a screen where you have to follow the on screen instructions as guided. Look for the emergency call button on your Android and tap on it. Type, star, pound, zero, star, pound, to open a secret menu. Once done, click next on your computer screen. Step 5. Allow USB debugging. Your Android screen will show a prompt to activate USB debugging. After allowing it on your Samsung device, click authorized on your computer screen. Step 6. Remove FRP lock successfully. The next screen on your computer will display the removal of the FRP lock from your Android device. Once the FRP lock is successfully removed, the prompt window will show its completion. Click done if you have successfully executed the process. If the issue still prevails, use the try again option. Part 2. Bypass Google account on Samsung with Android 6, 9, or 10. For Android 6, 9, and 10, resetting the PIN code is a good way to deactivate Google FRP. Step 1. Select Android version. After accessing the screen unlock tool and opening the FRP lock function through it, select Android OS 6, 9, 10 from the options and proceed by clicking Start. Step 2. Confirm prompt details. Confirm the prompt that appears on the screen and make sure your Android is connected to a proper Wi-Fi connection. Continue by clicking OK. Step 3. Check notification on the phone. The next screen will show that notification is being sent to your Samsung device. As it is sent successfully, the screen will prompt its execution. Click OK to continue to the next instructions and get hold of your Android device. Step 4. Go to the browser and use PIN to protect your phone. Click the View button to open the Samsung Internet Browser and type the required URL in the browser. Then, follow the instructions to select the PIN to protect your phone. Step 5. Set a PIN code and enter Google account or just skip. Select the Do Not Require option to set a PIN code, and then click the Skip button to continue. After that, Go back to the Wi-Fi Connect page on your Samsung and enter the PIN code set. Progress with the on-screen instructions and use the Skip button on the page when you are about to enter the Google account. Click Next on your computer screen once done. Step 6. Remove FRP Lock successfully. The screen prompts the successful removal of the FRP Lock from the Android device. Click Done to conclude the process. Part 3. Bypass Google account on Samsung with Android 7 and 8. Step 1. Select Android version and verify. On reaching the Android version selection page, checkmark the Android OS 7 8's option and click Start. On receiving a prompt on the screen, verify the information and click OK to continue. Step 2. Check notification on Samsung device. You will be sent a notification on your Samsung device, whose progress will be displayed on the screen. Once it is sent successfully, the screen prompts its completion. Click OK to continue with the process. Step 3. Open Google Chrome Browser and Initialize.
For removing FRP, follow all on-screen instructions properly. On clicking view on the received notification on the Samsung device. Continue to accept the terms of the Google Chrome browser that opens by clicking accept and continue. On choosing no thanks, proceed with the next step. Step 4. Download APK on Android and provide installation permission. Open the required URL and select Android 7 8. Click the Download APK option, which will serve as the key to bypassing FRP lock. As it downloads, open it and go into Settings. You will have to turn on the required permission settings to allow installation from this source and continue. Step 5. Install APK and deactivate Find My Device. Successfully install the APK package on your Android device by following the on-screen instructions. Go back to the browser page and tap the Open Settings button. Go into the security settings of your Samsung device and disable Android Device Manager and Find My Device to bypass FRP. Step 6. Disable Android Services to bypass FRP. Go to the settings of your Samsung and look for the Google Play Services and Play Store options for disabling. Step 7. Add a new Google account on Samsung. After disabling these settings, proceed to set up an account on your Samsung device from Settings, Cloud and Accounts, Accounts. And then, follow the on-screen instruction to sign in to your Google account or create a new one. After you create, log into the account and agree with the policy. Head back into the similar navigation of security settings on the Samsung device to turn them back on. Step 8. Reactivate disabled services on Samsung. Firstly, reactivate the services of Android Device Manager and Find My Device. Then, turn on the services of Google Play Services and Play Store once again and restart your Samsung device. Step 9. Successfully remove Android FRP lock from Samsung. As you open the device, you will find out that the FRP lock has been successfully removed from the Samsung device. The screen on the front of your computer also prompts the completion of the entire process. Part 4. How to check the version of the Samsung operating system. Step 1. Get into not sure the OS version. Step 2. Put Samsung device into recovery mode. Follow the instructions to put your Samsung in recovery mode. Select the specific mode according to your device from the top. Step 3. Find out the version and continue. Once you find out the specific Android version after putting the device in recovery mode, continue to select the specific option from the screen. Follow the previous instructions to do the Samsung FRP bypass, according to your Android version.